Good morning, all. Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to take you on a day in the life with us again. Yes, I know my sink is full of dirty dishes, but such is life, such is life around here. So I'm just washing up some eggs and we're gonna make some eggs and bacon and toast and get our day started. Next, I get my bread out of the bread machine. I've been trying to make a loaf of bread every night so that we have a fresh loaf every day for sandwiches or toast or whatever it is that we wanna have that day. And this one, the top got a little fluffy. I don't know what happened there, but anyway. Um, and then I get my coffee going and uh, we eat breakfast and get started on getting this house picked up so it is more manageable so that my brain can function and we can get through school. I've come on here and done one of these kind of day in the life vlogs, but I um, feel like we can finally do that again. Ethan says hello, or Superman, Super Ethan. Are you Superman or Super Ethan? And Hannah is eating chocolate chips, hence the dirty mouth. <laughs> what is your name, Ethan? Hi. Super Ethan or Superman? Hi. Superman. Hi, and Isaac says hi. So uh, anyway, we've got all our morning stuff done, had breakfast. It is, I don't know, close to 11 o'clock. Is it 11? We are getting ready to take my oldest daughter to youth camp for the week. And I'm not sure what else we'll get into today. I do have something I have to pick up um, from somebody that's near the youth camp. Um, that I bought off the like children's resale site on Facebook. And so we'll take you along with our day. We have been getting lots of ideas out of this book um, of hopeful places we would like to visit, uh, state parks we'd like to visit now that we own a camper. And so I've just been going through here, getting kind of excited and getting some ideas about where it is we want to plan visits.
that became their capital in the days of Ahab. The tribe of Judah to the south gave its own name to their new kingdom. They and Benjamin were the only tribes to remain loyal. Oh, sorry, I've been bad at picking up this camera and updating. I had a really hard time getting baby girl to sleep. She finally fell asleep for her morning nap. Um, right as we were leaving to take my oldest daughter to camp. And so we woke her up. She was not able to go back to sleep in the car like I was hoping she would. And she's been Hello. fighting sleep since we got back home. Hi, Dad. Hello. We did lunch. We did sandwiches for lunch. I had my salad. Um, my husband and I are going on a little just trying to eat healthier and eat better and feel better and lose a little weight. And so um, I had packed us both a salad last night. Tonight I plan to make us um, some kind of tuna. I don't know if tuna salad or what we're gonna put it on or what. Um, but I'm just trying to prepack our lunches the night before so mine's in the fridge and ready to go and he can take us to work. And I'm not just grabbing whatever and just eating whatever here. So anyway, we did lunch. We've done school, we did our together work our Bible and history. The kids are just finishing up um, their individual schoolwork. And so there's like kind of a hiccup in the middle of our day where we had to leave and take her into town to camp. So um, we kind of are getting finished later than I'd like. It's like 3.30. I've still got to figure out dinner. I did thaw out some chicken that I was gonna make homemade chicken nuggets for the kids for lunch today. And I forgot we were leaving at lunchtime. So that didn't happen. So I'm not sure what we're doing for dinner. We'll probably try to figure out something in the Instapot or just something kind of simple. Cause I'm so tired. Excuse me. Her napping, finally, and I'm tired. I just had Maddie heat me up some coffee. And Ethan's sitting here next to me watching a little show and eating another sandwich. He was hungry. He didn't finish his whole sandwich at lunch. And so um, I thought I might do some reading. I haven't read in so long, and I did get a book from the library several weeks ago and haven't even started it um i might just sit here it's raining outside it's such a nice little cozy day i might drink some coffee and read my book and figure out something for dinner i don't know that we're going to get into much else today um but we'll take you along i'll show you what we might do for dinner i had um that's what i was going to tell you guys saturday evening we have done so much like my husband was off the week before and so we did like a three-day camping trip at our camper we did a whole day at Disney where we uh, got up really early and got there for rope drop at Magic Kingdom. And it's been so hot, guys, like heat index of 110 um, most days and over. Um, but it has been so, so hot. And I just think we have been really been overdoing it. They went on, um, my husband took the boys and they went fishing and I took my grandma and the girls and we went shopping and then by that night, I'd had like the most horrible migraine. Um, for years, I've gotten these migraines where they start, I lose my vision. And I finally figured out what they were after a couple of years of having them and doing a lot of um, research. And for some reason, doctors were never able to figure out, oh, it's a migraine. Anyway, um, but um, usually I will lose my vision it will come back within, you know, 20, 30 minutes. And then I will just have like a small headache that I can get rid of with ibuprofen. This time it started as like a major, all of a sudden headache. We were in the dollar store getting a couple things I needed for um, someone's birthday. We were making a cake and stuff. And I was there with my middle son and told him, oh, my head just really, really hurts. Let's hurry and get what we need and get out of here. And do what we can to get home. I started getting a little blurry vision. We were only a block or two away from our house. So I just drove really slow and got home and just laid on the couch and had my husband just like rub my head. I took ibuprofen. It wasn't touching it. Um, I finally was able to go to bed that night. I woke up the next morning and I still had a headache. It wasn't as intense, but I've never kept a migraine that long. And so all day Sunday, I had a pretty bad headache. I woke up this morning and had like a, what felt like a sinus headache where it goes like dry from your nostril to behind your eyeballs where your sinuses kind of hurt. And 
That seems to have faded some, but I think I've really just been overdoing it and my body's telling me I need to slow down and rest a little. And so we may just have a kind of calm, quiet week at home with my oldest daughter gone at camp. If we feel froggy one day, we may do like a library program because they have the summer reading programs or just go to the library one day. I'm sorry, I don't want to make you all tired with my yawning. Um, but other than that, I think we're going to have kind of an uneventful week. Might get out and work in the garden if it ever stops raining. It's been um, the rainforest out here here lately. I say we live in the forest, so I call it the rainforest in the summertime where it just rains every day. Anyway, I'm going to take you along as much as I can. If we have anything interesting going on this week, I'll take you along. <laughs> So, baby girl is finally up from her nap. I had my oldest daughter French braid my hair this morning and I'm not very used to it, but it's already falling down and bugging me. I might take it down soon. Anyway, that's besides the point. Baby girl finally is up from her nap. She sweated all over me. I'm going to figure out something for dinner and then we're going to... Here, take this, Han Isaac. Hannah's trying to follow you with toilet paper. They're putting toilet paper in the bathroom, so we're all out. Um, I'm gonna figure out something for dinner something simple because it's already like 4 30 um and then something i've tried to implement over the years is doing like a house pickup before my husband gets home so he doesn't walk into chaos and so that we have some time to enjoy him after he gets home and before it's bedtime because there's such a short little time frame there so we're gonna put on some music, we're gonna get this house picked up, we're gonna get some dinner, and then maybe play some games or something if I can make something easy enough that doesn't take a lot of my time and spend time with daddy when he gets home. I'm gonna get this guy set up doing some painting. Um, I don't remember if you, no, he was doing regular painting. I was thinking maybe it was the water paint. Um, so I'm gonna get him set up painting so that I can get dinner started. Um, you know, it's very hard to cook or do any kind of project that takes my attention away from the one-year-old and three-year-old. So I had to get them set up doing stuff in the high chair and um, him painting and so that mommy can get something done. I said 
I had some chicken breast, just a couple of thought out, and I found this. I had a broccoli stir fry and a deluxe stir fry, so I'm gonna make some kind of chicken and rice stir fry. I don't know, we're winging it. to take your vitamin. dinner is done and eaten and put away and starting to clean the kitchen again. What I'm showing you here is I um, made a little individual dish of leftovers for my lunch the next day so it's really easy for me to just pull out and heat up something for lunch.
close the vlog out today. I'm coming out with my daughter to collect chicken eggs and get these animals put away for the evening and um, got the, oh no, get down. Puppy's jumping on me. Got the kitchen all cleaned up. That's usually my oldest daughter's job, but like I said, she's gone this week. So um, thank you so much for watching today. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.